welcome to my craft room great right right what I thought I would do is uh, not make a card or do art journaling or anything like that I thought I'd do a little art lesson because I've been doing some sort of more artwork recently and I've really enjoyed it I don't know I think some some of us crafters might feel artwork all that sort of tricky um, it's not something I could do but do you know what it doesn't have to be tricky and I think you could do it and I'd like to show you how you can do a simple piece of artwork I'm thinking a landscape because I think they're nice and easy I just thought let's have some fun and just do some artwork with some pens and pencils and just keep it simple um yeah so that's what the idea is so <laughs> let's get going then I quite like this mixed media pad it's um, a 250 GSM and it's like a good all-rounder a4 size so it's really quite thick and it takes all sorts of um, you know materials and everything so it's quite a good one and it's very white as well which is nice because you can get some cheap ones that are sort of off color so I've been um, um, working with Faber-Castell recently and I've managed to acquire some polychromos pencils and these are rather gorgeous okay so um i'm just going to pick uh, a couple of colors that are very similar to each other three colors so i'd like to do a landscape and show you how you can easily create a landscape and i'm i just want to focus on being messy and sort of shapes and not you know not concentrating too much on the actual color that we're going to use so i've just focused on this these colors i'm going to pull in um, a pencil to use a black pen we'll have a spare bit of card and i'm going to pick some other pens as well some markers um, and grab anything sort of in those similar colors let's just grab whatever we can find i've got some thinner pens here marker pens brush pens i've got some watercolor pencils so let's grab one of those anything sort of this color tone i've got some calligraphy pens There's one sort of similar color there and on the test piece, um, test them out and see what they look like together. So let's scribble. You can choose, I'm chucking them around now. <laughs> you can choose any colour tone you like. That one's a little bit bright. So I might leave that one out. Right, I have to remember to look at the comments and everything, don't I? Did you say if I was upside down? I think I'm okay. So yes, scribble away and just see what they all look like together. So I'm not going to do that one, so I'll cross that one out. Like a bit of pencil. Did I use that one? This one. Yeah, nice. That'll be nice. That's good. So I like those colours. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, first of all, I thought we would just do a horizon. Let's do a horizon. So just draw a straight line across your page. I tend not to do in the middle. I just think that's a little bit, sort of a little bit boring. So, you know, maybe go a high horizon or a low horizon, a third. Do a third, two thirds, or two thirds and a third. I just think it's, well, it is, it's a design feature and it's, definitely ple more pleasing for the eye okay I'm just going to just come in with a little pattern there and another sort of hill at the background and that's that's the start so that's a landscape so everyone can have a go at that can't they yeah of course you can of course you can so then I'm going to I've got water the watercolor marker here and all I'm going to do is just paint in the sky 
where where my new horizon is because I've got these hill hilly sort of areas. Just go for a little line like that and then we're going to bring in some water and quite a chunky brush and just get some water and just paint up to that line and spread the colour out. This is going to be our sky obviously. We just want a nice light colour in the sky. Just manipulate that colour and push it out above, away from you. So really pale and delicate and calming. That's what we want, a nice calming sky. And you can even lighten it up in the middle because you could give him the impression that that's where the, the sun is. Okay, so that's a good basis for the sky. Watercolour markers I'm using are these Faber-Castell ones. They're Albuquerque Jura watercolour markers and they're a chunky pen. Is that good? Thanks, Sharon. Is that better? I'm so sorry. Sorry I dropped you. Yes. Yeah, they're um they're really good because they're a nice chunky brush nib at one end, brush tip and a normal chunky nib at the other end. And I just think they're really nice to use. And okay, I'll try and answer your questions. Is anyone still with me after all of that? <laughs> I hope you can hear me okay as well. I hate the wonky a wonky um is it that way? No, that way. That's it. Right, and then also, just scribble down at the bottom. This is quite radical. Just scribble down the bottom with your marker. And with the same brush, just go in and just fill in that bottom area with some colour. See, I'm a pretty neat person and I, I kind of get fed up with myself about being neat. I just think it's a bit of a handicap. I think art's lovely and flowy and creative. And I just don't want to be neat and particular. So this is almost like a little lesson for myself. I want to create sort of quick landscapes where I can just scribble and be messy. Who cares? Nothing's going to go wrong. If it does, you can easily change it. That's the plan. I hate being tidy. <laughs> So, okay, so I've done that then and I've just splashed some water on just to create some nice sort of effects in there like that. I've got a bit of tissue, I can try and dry my sky off. Right then, with the horizon I want to go in with one of my other lighter colours and I have the watercolour pencil. Watercolour pencils are lovely. I'm going to draw in my horizon and then I'm going to scribble away at this right hand hill. I can't see more comments now. I can't see the comments. Scribble away there and then over here I'm just going to draw across the top of this hill. It's in the distance so I don't want too much colour. I'll just draw a nice line and then this one I've scribbled on, still a bit damp there. And then with a smaller brush, let's pick a smaller one, I'm going to manipulate this colour. So we're just scribbling patterns and areas of our landscape, that's all we're doing. And you know, it's simple but it's effective I think. And it's nice to produce a, produce a piece of artwork, I think. Let's go along here a bit more. There. Again, I think I might just dab some water to create some nice patterns. And then over this side. Okay, I can see some comments. Are you talking amongst yourselves? <laughs> There's a David. Hi David, Dominique. Hello, thanks for joining me guys and girls <laughs> and Jane and Sharon, you're still there. That's good. I need your help. <laughs> okay, so with this distant mountain, 
or hill I'm just going to just stroke that line just to make it bleed out that's it and it can bleed out some colour probably want it a little bit more than that and I don't want the line to be too strong so let's see if I can stroke it away because it is in the distance and if you do want a little bit more colour with watercolour pencils, you can just stroke the tip with your brush and then you can just paint in some more colour. They're so versatile, really. I like them. Let's just paint in a bit more lighter colour. OK. That'll do. So hopefully the foreground's drying nicely. I have got a heat gun, but I don't really want to use it. I just think they're a bit noisy, aren't they? So the next thing I want to do is I have got two shades of... No, I haven't. I've got one shade of watercolour pencil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly do the distance and just get a flat brush and just blend that in. lightly just to hide that white paper don't want a piece of white paper staring at us do we okay that will do lovely so then in the foreground I've got a bone folder and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to press in and mark it and dig in some lines all the way down the front just dig at it this is one exercise where I can just go to town and be messy and try and get rid of that neatness out of me <laughs> so just dig in some ridges with a bone folder or back of a knife something like that I'm doing sort of long strokes at the side slightly shorter strokes in the centre and then long at the side again just to try and draw your eye and you probably guessed it's going to be grass sort of a grassy meadow and then I'm just going to do some other little lines groups of lines down there in the sort of middle distance sort of massive dis bits of distant grass there so we do that because if we get a normal color pencil and then start I'm using the side of the tip we start coloring over it we've made ridges and just highlight that with this the pencil it doesn't matter what pencil this is and it's a nice way of using some art materials as well. And if you can see where the ridges are, the pencil's not hitting. And it's left me some highlighted grass strokes. Okay, is anyone asking me any questions? Are you making us? Oh, yeah, I'm making you seasick. <laughs> oh, I do apologise that. Must get better at this again. I haven't done one for so long. Facebook lives. Okay, and then what I can do is with the same pencil, I can sort of now draw in some grassy strokes. Doesn't matter how or where, some might bend over. I just want to be free and expressive. I quite like this colour actually, it's a nice colour isn't it? Yes. And the beauty about um, Faber-Castell um, pens and pencils is that you can get the same colours in whatever materials they are, whatever pens they are. So you can get a watercolour pencil, a polychromo, a brush pen all in exactly the same colour and I think that's quite neat I 
I think that's quite nice. Okay, I've still got a little bit of wet patch going on there. But actually, we should work on the sky. So I'm going to sharpen this pencil just so I can get um, a sharper point. Okay. And with the sky, I've got heavier detail this side. So to balance it, I'm just going to create an illusion of some clouds over this side. So I'm going to hold the pen at a pencil at an angle like this. And I just want to do some strokes. And this is going to be the colour of the sky. And if I actually get a pencil and draw some really light sort of clouds. Some like circular cumulus clouds. And then I'm going to go from there where the pencil line is and just draw some lines, diagonal lines across the sky. Really easy. This is really easy. Not difficult. Just make sure you keep it quite fine and all in the same direction. And then we can also add in some pencil lines as well, just to add some depth of colour. And then just fade out over to this side. And then that just hopefully gives the impression of some clouds billowing away. So, can you see that all right? Let's go a bit darker. I'm just going to go a bit darker. Do. Okay, right, this heel in the background, that's drying nicely. So with that one, I'm getting the same pencil again. We don't need to use the watercolour one, let's go for this one. And I'm just going to scribble some colour across the top of that. I kind of like pencil lines. I kind of like this effect. And this paper has got a slight texture to it, so you can, you can see the texture through. And then I might just mirror image some diagonal lines across there. Just to create some patterns, something for the eye to look at. I think that's what's needed. I'm just going to go slightly darker at the top. Okay. I have picked out another colour as well. So I might just do a bit of that on there as well. Just a plain heel, that's all. I think that's enough. This is still drying. Let's give that a pat so it dries quicker. Okay, so let's work on the foreground again. And I'm going to fill up some of this area. I'm just going to draw some, again with the side of my nib, just some patches of scribbles. So just draw some lines. Be messy scribbling and then I'm just going to flick up and draw just some grass tufts because this you don't have to cover the whole area with grass you can just give that impression by just doing a few few tufts of grass okay have we still got the people watching are you still there I'm not very good at answering or seeing any comments. Would you have a go at some artwork like this, do you think? Has anyone done some artwork? Let us know. So I'm just scribbling. I think the scribblier, the messier, the nicer it might end up. Do some tufts of grass down here, more down here. Yeah, let's just go mad, let's just go mad. Get that hand moving. I'm kind of leaving this space open because I think the light might be hitting it and there's not so much detail there. Obviously in the distance you want to go smaller with your lines, not too heavy. Okay, let's go in with some pencil. Let's scribble just underneath, almost like creating a shadow. 
So I'm going to bring the shadow over to the left hand side of the tufts. So because the light source is coming this way, that sort of helps with the light source. Scribble away at the bottom. And then over here, the shadow is going to be over to the right. Some blades of grass in pencil as well. I kind of like adding pencil. I don't know if this is very exciting to watch. I don't know. I might be bored. <laughs> but it's just an idea of something to do, I think, especially when the weather's not great. OK, so we've done a pencil. We've done our pencil crayon. Let's have a go with the marker. Let's have a go with the marker and draw some blades of grass with that. I just think it's quite interesting as well, doing different mediums, different pens in the same colour, because I'm not worried about the colour, thinking about colour. We're just mark making, that's all we're doing. And I just think it's quite interesting to get different variety of pens and pencils and do some dots as well do some dots because that sort of is interesting for the eye to look at and do some dots around the base of where the grass tufts are dashes Don't forget the very foreground, do some the horizontal lines as well as the vertical lines. It's kind of coming together, isn't it? Right then, the next thing is to work on this hill here. That's fairly dry now. So with my watercolour pencil, yes, with my watercolour pencil, I'm just going to just scribble some vertical lines Just to give the impression of a forest of trees and I might have like a bush or a hedgerow in the foreground so just scribble just scribble that in and I just want to manipulate this a little bit more with some water so just bring up from the tree trunks and maybe just do some dots above and wait for that to dry and then I've got this pen this was darker wasn't it it's quite a bit darker I don't know if that's going to be too dark mind if I team it with this it might be okay so I've got a slightly darker pen pencil that I'm just going to scribble in at the bottom. A bit more shadowing, a bit more colour in the heel, blend in that colour. That's still a bit damp. Horizon line coming out. Scribbling. It's just scribble. I like that effect, so I'm going to do some more of that. Just scribbly lines. And then you've got a piece of artwork here, if it turns out right, that you could do different things with. I've got a lighter one in a similar tone, just adding some lines on with that. This could become a journal page, couldn't it? You could use it for art journaling. You could cut it up into little sections and create bookmarks. And you can, you know, cut them all the way along and create bookmarks. Or you could do smaller pieces of artwork and you can put that on a card easily. 
and you've created a piece of artwork to give to someone on a card. Somebody loves to scribble, that's good. <laughs> some more darker lines here it's knowing when to stop as well isn't it that's the thing knowing when to stop creating some sort of depth of tones now quite like the darkness I'm actually might try and go in with this pen it's got a finer nib actually might go in with this one now because I think it won't be too too stark no that's okay that's okay Actually, it's quite nice doing a Facebook Live and I'm looking at what I'm doing on my iPad as well as trying to read the comments. Um, what paper are you using, someone's asked. Sorry, I'm a bit slow with answering the questions, but I will go back. I will go back. I am, just to clarify, I'm using a mixed media pad. It's Faber-Castell. And you can use all sorts of different mediums on it. It's 250 GSM, it's A4, and it's nice and white, white paper. Watercolours blend nicely with it. As I said, it's my sort of go-to pad. I like it. I do like it. Put some deeper colour down at the front scribble away happy strokes <laughs> right I do want to just blend in that horizon of the field with a little bit of water like that and I might add a little bit more colour. That's the wrong pencil. Use the right one, that might help. That's better. Might even add a bit more to these paler areas. You can build it up as you go along. Just build it up, adding strokes more colour down here. You could probably use inks. I mean, you don't have to use pen and pencils. You could probably use inks and splash some sprays and things. Right, this needs a bit more work. So I'm going to go with oh, this one again. That's it. Just create some more vertical lines here. I don't know, is it interesting to see a piece of artwork coming together? I don't know. So I'm just going to scribble the tops of these edge, edges. I haven't used this pen yet, have I? I don't think. Just going to scribble. Paper's bouncing. In there and this pencil. Just add in stuff, add stuff. I'm going to tone that down a little bit. There. That darker one. 
might need to actually just add a little bit more of that just so it's not right on the top line hello Sharon you still there thank you thank you thanks for your comments <laughs> it's you are enjoying seeing this scribbly mess come together the HB pencil is a nice soft one. I think this is actually HB and I have got a 2B somewhere. That's going to be better, I think, the 2B somewhere. So, yeah, a nice soft pencil. i put a bit more pencil. I mean, I suppose this could be more or less, more or less finished. What do you think? be finished almost there I think what I'm, I'm gonna be brave I think I think I might go in with a bit of black let's just do this darker pencil in there just want to create some shadow from these trees Yeah, I think. Scribble up some shadow within my blades of grass. Ah, oh, quite enjoying being messy. This is quite good. It's best good. It'd be good if you're in a mood. <laughs> uh, you will calm yourself down. Just do some scribbles. All right. Yeah, I'm going to be brave, I think, and go in with a bit of black. I think it might need a bit of black just to make it the colours sort of pop. Um, I start off down here. Yeah, oh, I like the black. So this is going to be probably my final scribbling layer, the black. I've just got a fine liner pen. So let's do some of the grasses so they're bending over. I might have to add a bit of black to these tufts of grass. You don't have to be precise, I don't think. Just have to sort of suggest things for the eye to have a look at. More scribbles, more bits of land coming. Oh, I like I like scribbles. <laughs> Can I go too far and actually mess it up? I don't think so. I don't think so. I do want it to look kind of uh, kind of calm though. Really, don't want it to look too too mad. Well, I think any landscape that's not got any signs of human activity is peaceful, I think. Tranquil. Untouched by man, I think, is tran tranquil. A place I'd like to be. All right. The depth of lines and colour in here. I like that. Okay, now with this I'm just going to go mad and just scribble. Scribble over this to bring that hedgerow forward. Conscious of God's journeys. I would love to see this technique to do 
to do trees. Did you miss me doing the trees then? Oh, oh. So I have just a couple of, just do a vertical line and then just squiggle down and that creates a tree. Like fir trees, lots of them. Lots of lines vertical and then squiggle down. Yeah, that's good. That's all right. Liking it. Just need to define that horizon line a bit as well, I think. Yeah. Is that pretty much there? I think so. Because I like a bit of lettering, I might just I might just add the word peaceful up here. Let's just add the word peaceful. Just for something extra to look at. Is that, have I spelt it right? I think so. Sketch the word peaceful. Okay. So is this then doesn't work if I did want to cut my landscape up. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I might declare that done. So just to conclude then, I'm just sort of sketching a grassy landscape, just focusing on one colour, so, so it's a bit monochrome. One colour, one selections of one colour with different pens. I haven't used this one much, have I? Different pens. And just focus on scribbling and drawing grass. And what, it's taken me about half an hour to do. It's not too bad, is it? So, you know, I could cut this up. A greeting card if I wanted to. I'm just thinking the more lines I make, the nicer it is and the more I like it. <laughs> uh, okay, but I'm going to stop there. Take the pens away and then I won't be enticed to do any more. So, yes, give it a go. Do a scribbly landscape. Start with the horizon, then add two hills, scribble a bit of colour in the sky and then the foreground and build it up, get rid of that white paper. Right, I had a go earlier and I did a green version. I do love green. Oh, I forgot to do these little dotty bits. Here, let me show you that. So I've got some little dotty bits on the top of some of the grass just to create like um, flowers, grass flowers a bit of extra interest on the foreground with your black pen. I think that was quite good, I missed that. Little dots in a group, just a bit like flower, flower heads of grass. So let me bring in the green one again for you to see. Similar, yeah, similar thing. And I've written calm on the top. I love that colour, a bit sort of lighter yellow, lighter green with sort of darker olivey greens. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And then I also did this one. So this was um, a vertical landscape. Can it fit in the screen? And I sort of, I started off doing greys and blacks. The lettering is back to front. That's not good, is it? Uh, so sort of a rocky outcrop with a distant hill, lots of scribbles. So I kind of did this first. And I even used a silver pen as well, which I thought looked quite nice. And I just did this first. And I just thought, yeah, I'm scribbling and just being loose with myself. So, yeah, have a practice and get your pads out and your pencils. 
and see what you can just create a messy mess and you might turn out with something like these which I'm quite happy with them <laughs> I almost feel like an artist yeah give it a go thank you so much for joining me and um, sticking with it and I'd love to see if you create anything like this thanks a lot see you soon then goodbye